In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. My sisters and brothers, may the Lord give you all the gift of his peace. This Sunday, when you attend Mass, you're going to see the church light the rose or the pink-colored candle of the Advent wreath. Just past a little midway into our Advent journey, the church gives us Gaudete Sunday, Gaudete, a Latin word which means to rejoice. So the readings and the prayers, you're going to hear the word rejoice more than once. And even in many churches, if the priests have it, they'll be wearing a rose or a pink or, or a little knockoff uh, pink rose-colored vestment as well. Uh, we have a very bright one here in the church, and it's always uh, eye-catching and attention-grabbing. So listen, if it makes people pay attention, perk up during the Mass, it's all good. Once again, John the Baptist takes center stage. He is asked who he is by the priests who are confronting him. Who are you? And he says, basically, I'm nothing. I am a voice crying out in the desert, prepare the way of the Lord. And how did John do that? Well, we know, and we heard this last week, he was baptizing in the Jordan River. Baptism, water, very, very important in the Jewish understanding. And so because John was baptizing, they were, they, they were reminiscing over hundreds of years before when Moses led his people from slavery, Egypt, into freedom in the Promised Land. How did they do it? They walked right through the Red Sea. And that walking through the waters of baptism, being immersed literally into that two walls of water like you see in the Hollywood movies, is that which gave them freedom. Freedom from slavery. John's baptism is a little bit different because he says, I am baptizing you for repentance, for the forgiveness of your sins. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Bear with me. The word repentance is an incredible word. It's a fascinating word. It means uh, change your mind. Me it, it means making a full turnaround. It means making a change. It means making a spiritual U-turn of sorts. And that's really important for us because we can talk about changing our habits. We can talk about changing our lives. But if we don't change our minds first, we're still going to be in the same habits. During Advent, we've been hearing a lot about mountains being leveled. Those are our sins which need to be obliterated. We hear a lot about valleys being filled in. Those are the emptinesses in our lives. We need to fill ourselves with God's goodness, God's grace, God's mercy, and ask for God's forgiveness. We hear about making crooked ways straight. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make a straight path for God. Sometimes my ways are crooked, and I know that only God can straighten them out. But God can only straighten them out when I'm convinced in my mind that God has a better plan, that God's ways are better than my crooked ways. God wants to heal you. God wants to forgive me. God wants to level those mountains of sin. He wants to fill in those empty valleys with his grace. He wants to make our crooked ways straight. But before he does that, we have to first, we have to invite him into it, let him do the work, and be convinced of ourselves in our mind that God's ways are better than our ways. So perhaps during this time we can reflect on those mountains and those valleys and all those obstacles in our lives, change our minds, and be faithful to the Lord. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And don't forget what St. Paul says to the Romans. Be transformed by the renewal of your mind. I'll see you Sunday. Thank you so much for praying with us today. I'm delighted that you're able to join us. Please uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Saint, spelt out, Anastasia Tinek, and click subscribe. We're looking for 1,000 subscribers. God bless you.